you are all welcome from the, all the centers and all the provinces that are joining us uh, via the uh, email for the virtual platform. With our guest of honor now in, we will be singing the national anthem. <laughs> Once it's like that, you can talk. In a special way, dear Lord, I want to say thank you so very much for being privileged as the Kamala Secondary School to be considered a place that where this not must activity be launched. Father, we say thank you very much to our age. As he begins, Lord, to deliberate on whatever is coming, Father, we pray and invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to be with us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you so very much. You may be seated. Thank you so very much. Uh, the guest of honor, the permanent secretary ministry of education, education services, Mr. Kamoko, uh, the director, Dote, Madam Dr. Beatrice Porter, and other directors here present, the provincial education officer represented by the person. For Saka, who is uh, from Family Legacy, representing North Master UK, the Delta Osaka District, the media team here present. Allow me also to recognize 
the head teacher, the Kamala Secondary School, and other head teachers that have joined us this morning. I will be failing not to recognize our distinguished pupils that are here, the reason for the e-learning platform. Allow me to say, ladies and gentlemen, this morning, guess the one, you joined us at the Kamala Secondary School to do one of the many other activities, important as it may be, to launch the e-learning platform, the hybrid of its kind, after having come from the bitter lesson of COVID. And I think our lessons are that now learning can still take place behind and outside the four walls of the classroom. With not much ado, allow me to indicate to you, guest of honor, that we have others that are joining us from the other centers in all the other nine provinces of the country, and they're joining us virtually. And uh, this launch, therefore, is being done nationally. And therefore, allow me at this moment to invite the head teacher of the Kamala Secondary School to just welcome everyone to the Kamala, the head teacher. Thank you very much, Director of Programs, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Education Services, Mr. Joro Kamoko, the Director Dode, Dr. Ota, the Peso Osaka Province. May also recognize the representatives from Liquid Platform, uh, Liquid Telecom, that are partners in this program, not master officials, not forgetting all the dignitaries that have been invited from other sectors to be with us this morning, the media in presence. My dear friends, the Kamala Seven School staff, not forgetting the owners of the school, the learners who have made a stride to be with us this morning, despite the fact that the school is in recess. Good morning, everybody. I welcome you to the Kamala Seven School, especially for this very, very important program. I think my standing is very simple, just me. probably to indicate to the people who are here the geography of this school. Um, for those who want to study the geography of this school, just on top upstairs to the northern direction, there's a, space, there's a place there, a very big place. People can study some subjects there. We also have another space just direct along the block where the administration is at the far end just before they go out where the staff room is to the right there are also places where people can come and be able to go and stay we have also one of the dignitaries in my simple office there's also a place where people can be otherwise we are very grateful as the Kamala Second School to be visited Guest of honor, I visited East Africa, one of the five years in my tour of duty. Then I was told, if the mountain does not want to be stepped upon, it should not grow mushrooms. This is the Kamala. We have tried to resist this very difficult. Every program that comes, we take it with a lot of strength to ensure that it brings out the result that is meant for. Not master care. Two years ago, as the our teachers were trained. And I think the way we took the program was different from others in the country. And because of that, they have been brought back because of the way we did the program. And today, we are told we are going to have a hybrid program, which is the relaunch of the same, but at a greater height. Because our teachers in the school 
we are engaged in the production or development of questions. 1,000 questions in each teaching subject, which will be used countrywide into the program that is going to be launched today. It's not my show. I thought I was just starting to welcome our guests of honor and the, those accompanying them, accompanying him to the Kabwana Secondary School. We are very grateful to have you in our midst. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. That was our hand for the Kamala Second School, giving us uh, uh, the welcoming remarks for every one of us to know where to step in the Kamala. Those places the head was talking about are places that you can use for convenience and the toilet. So when the head was mentioning upstairs and down the corridors, please, those are places for us to go and. Uh, visit if need be. Allow me at this moment also to invite the late Rosaka to also welcome the country and the entire uh, not master platform leaders to Rosaka and for the launch. The date. Welcome everyone to Rosaka. you all to Lusaka province, particularly Lusaka district. They, I uh, encourage everyone to actively participate in this program, but as uh, everyone has said, it's not my show. I will now maybe hand over the mic to the person so that he can, can do the Um, Secretary of Education Services. I just like explaining this part that uh, we used to call him Permanent Secretary of Technical Services. But you should all take note that now he is called Permanent Secretary of Education Services. Special cognizance of your presence sir, at this occasion. Also, to acknowledge our director, Adore. Dr. Buta and her entourage from Ministry Headquarters. Also wish to recognize the North Master and their partners, Liquid Telecom in this case. We also have in our midst, in the rest of Zambia, represented here, the School of Medicine representing by a professor from that uh, uh, school. The head teacher of this school, the names and staff, the staff from Kamana, and all their learners, all the other delegates that are here with us, the media, and only ladies and gentlemen, to just say good morning, all of you. On behalf of PU, Saka Province, I wish, as I walk all of you, to this occasion where we are going to unveil the hybrid digital platform for learning. Take pride, first and foremost, of our school. Kamala Secondary School. Kamala Secondary School represents a special space in Lusaka province and Lusaka district and the country at large. And I'm proud to hear that as Kamala Secondary School, we have been able to raise to the occasion to actually pilot and practice the project that brings us together today. I think they have been consistent from 2016, going through all the processes, allowing not master together with its partners to actually keep on improving on the platform. And I'm sure we are all comfortable now that we can come back to the table and unveil 
to borrow the teacher's words, to actually to relaunch because it was once launched. But because of time, we have been now able to perfect it with the performance, with the practice, the commitment of our teachers and staff. I am proud that we have made a contribution to what will be now something the whole nation is going to benefit from. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful platform that all of us, teachers, learners, and parents are challenged to. The honors is in our hands. What rights is I going to give? For not benefiting from all the positive impacts that can come out of a digital platform like this one, especially for the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to sincerely welcome you with pride to Osaka, a province uh, that uh, you are here and we are part of the unveiling of the occasion. Thank you so much, PS. Welcome to Osaka and Kamala in particular. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you so very much. Allow me, yes, Ramona, at this moment to invite Director Dodi. Dr. Beatrice Porter to also give her remarks. The Permanent Secretary, Education Services, the staff that has come from the Ministry of Education Headquarters, the provincial education officer, Lusaka, represented by the PESCO here, all the PEOs and their members of staff that are with us virtually, the district education board secretary, Lusaka uh, district, and other DEADs who may be with us virtually, representatives from Knox Master, representatives from Liquid Telecom. All senior education officers in the ministry present here and virtually. Our distinguished teachers and learners of Kamala Secondary School. Allow me to address you as uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you in my capacity as director for Open uh, at distance education from the Ministry of Education to this very important occasion where we will be unveiling, or as people are saying, saying relaunching the Knox Master hybrid e learning platform. The objective of this meeting, ladies and gentlemen, is basically for us to create awareness for the existence of the platform in the Ministry of Education through the Directorate of Open and Distance Education. This meeting demonstrates the Ministry of Education to ensure we deliver education. We need to realize that the provision of quality education encompasses a number of key elements. And among these elements is the innovation in education delivery. Time has come, ladies and gentlemen, when serious thinking along the lines should be given to digital learning and learning outside the classroom. I also want to say that the lessons that we learned from the impact of the COVID pandemic should always remind us that learning should actually take place away from the classroom and not limited to the classroom situation. I wish to remind ourselves that uh, 
the Directorate of Open and Distance Education in the Ministry of Education is mandated to provide quality education through alternative modes such as distance education, open learning, and these two are heavily supported by the education broadcasting services through the radio and education television as well as our digital platforms or e-learning platforms like the one that we are talking about today. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to remind us that in the year 2017, our ministry, uh, with the financial support from the Commonwealth of Learning, embarked on the development of, our, of over 2,600 online educational lessons in seven junior secondary subjects, namely English, Mathematics, Integrated Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Business Studies, and Computer Studies. These materials are actually, as we speak, sitting on the North Master platform and can be accessed at will. In 2019, the platform was launched and the initial pilot was a two-way uh, approach, which included an online and offline system. The offline system uses a gadget, as we uh, may be aware, a gadget called Aptas. 15 schools for continuing education in the country, actually uh, countrywide, were supplied with the gadget and materials were loaded onto the SD cards, which was then inserted into the gadget for everyone to access the materials they are in. This allowed learners and teachers in schools to access the materials offline. This was the response to the connectivity challenge, actually. And the second approach was the use of the online system. A set of five schools was selected from the mainstream to use the gadget as control schools. Learners and teachers were also free to access the platform online at their own time. Ladies and gentlemen, during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we are aware that uh, the online system was active, very active, and it was the preferred mode of learning during that time. And that worked very well for the learners especially. We need to realize, ladies and gentlemen, that time has come when the online system should never be an option for the few. As we all are aware, of the motto, leave no one behind. It is time that we begin to venture into identification of innovative ways of de delivering education for us to live by our motto as guided by our country. I wish to also indicate that the pandemic uh, has uh, led to rethinking the pandemic and its impact actually led to rethinking of our partnership with uh, Lord's Master and our desire is to move forward as we enhance our relationship with this our partner Lord's Master in order for us to be able to avail the digital materials that are contained on the platform to our teachers and to our learners. So the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, goal number four states, ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Dode has positioned itself very well in promoting lifelong education and providing a opportunities for all ages. Our people in Zambia that have had no chance of accessing education through the standard means, Dode has a belt.
an open and flexible way of education, even if you are in For there's this directorate of yours, Jordan, is on top of things in the use of alternative modes of education provision. I have no doubt that this important day will result in building the necessary linkages and networks that we desire for us to have the education we want to see. With these words, I wish all of us a very good time as we remain together for some time. And let us connect to digital materials as we move forward. And I wish all of us to be digitally uh, enlightened. Thank you very much. Our guest of honor, the permanent secretary, Education Services, Minister of Education. That was our director for Dode, giving us a, a brief of how. We have walked this walk of us re watching and I'm very sure we have not been walking alone. And the partners that are providing that engine to drive us accessing this information on this platform are no other than Liquid Telecom, who are here with us, even as I invite the representative from Liquid Telecom to also indicate their dedication. Not master is a success. Leave it to go. I'm actually head of product and solutions from Liquid. Now, before I proceed, I would like to acknowledge the presence of the guests and please allow me to just say off to the podium. So, as Liquid Telecom, we are very excited to be part of this partnership. Um, many people think of Liquid and they think of us being a state of water and stuff. But I would like to. Um, that misconception to actually be gotten rid of. Liquid Telecom is actually a provider of internet services in the country and across the continent. Uh, in Africa alone, we have over 100,000 kilometers of fiber. And for context, uh, that's equivalent to setting the globe twice. In Zambia alone, uh, we have over 8,000 kilometers of fiber, and we continue to build more uh, connectivity to provide internet connectivity in the country. This company called Liquid Telecom was actually founded by an African, and we're very proud of this uh, because the man today is a very successful businessman, uh, our group chairman, Mr. Strike Matsiwa, and he's actually a billionaire. And this is actually a testament to the possibilities of what education can actually uh, uh, result in. So we're very proud that our group chairman is actually an African. Our partnership with Nordmasters actually enables the platform to, for, for users to actually have access to the platform without having to pay too much on their data. So what we've done is actually that we've zero rated access to the Nordmasters platform as long as they're using uh, liquid internet. So this is something that we thought we should do because we believe in education. We are a company that believes in making sure that Africans have more access to ICTs. And it's, such, it's through initiatives such as this uh, that we ensure that we partner with Nordmasters to make this a reality. Uh, when it comes to COVID and, and, and of course digital transformation, I believe that with the advent of COVID, we actually saw a disruption that in some ways led to uh, an acceleration in as far as digital transformation is concerned. This has led to a lot of adoption of digital platforms such as Nordmasters. And we believe that this is the way to go, especially in ensuring that there's more adoption of ICTs. As Liquid, we've actually been connecting schools in the country as part of our CSR initiatives. 
We have collected very much schools and they do not pay anything for other internet services. And we were actually discussing with the head, head for, for this school. I think there's already discussions around how we can provide connectivity to the school as well. So this is something that we want to continuously do to ensure that we enable ICTs. Besides that, just last month, we actually went into a partnership with a company called Raspberry Pi. This is now to enable the accessibility of devices. Providing connectivity is one thing, but we also understand that uh, devices and the cost to actually um, connect to the internet should be required to purchase the device. And through our partnership, we are now able to provide those devices to schools, and we'll be unveiling this to schools across the country, including, uh, I've just received it's the Kamwara Secondary School. So, I don't want to take much of your time, but all we'd like to say is that we want to continue with this partnership with the ministry, with uh, the Kamala Secondary School, in ensuring that um, uh, ICTs and, and access to ICTs is actually enabled and enhanced in Zambia. So we remain the partner of the government in ensuring that uh, we achieve this together. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. That is uh, Liquid uh, Telecom. The providers that are allowing us to use the internet service with zero rent. And we are glad that we could actually enhance this partnership this one. And we pray that their commitment will remain to this engagement with the Ministry of Education. At this moment, I will be inviting the representative of uh, North Master. But before we get to the representative of North Master, the North Master representative will give us an address that is uh, virtually. But uh, before the North Master uh, representative or CEO speaks, they also want to hand over the facilities of the MyFight to the peers so that as the PS goes to unveil, we have the actual material that will be used for the e-learning platform. At that moment, allow me to invite uh, Family Legacy, who are representing uh, the, the, the North Master through Mr. Dean Dardas, to now come to the front here and will invite the peers to come through and receive the my files from the organization. But as that is being done, the gadgets are being brought by the Kamala uh, pupils who are doing it in Rats. As one after the official launch day, we as the Kamala Sunday learners are proud and grateful to be among the first to be benefit from this at home. Thank you. Lord Master has granted his honor that is special and new. With a beautiful blend of digitalization and technology, our third eye opened. The platform was teachers to see. But mother is happy, for mother is free. For mother is the same after the age old. The care of a baby of seven weeks old is exactly what we have been officially treated with. A school, but not in a classroom. A room with a full construction effort to provide you as both for social teachers and students gather as one to teach and learn. 
The North Master has a library that is access to the learning team. The content in the library can be easily linked to other learning classrooms, such as Google Classroom and MS Teams. Well, two important parameters to be addressed. Firstly, what is migration from analog to digital without online mode of education? Secondly, could I therefore carry on zeroing in into the details of North Master? Thanks to North Master, e-learning is now made possible. Many students worldwide can now access books for all subjects and notes already available online without leaving the comfort of their homes. Notes Master has given us opportunities to learn from competitive educators and interact with other students and teachers from different locations. The more engaging the lessons, the more the students can remember the information. Therefore, on behalf of all the learners and teachers at the Kamwala, we thank the Ministry of Education, Notes Master, and Liquid Telecom for making it possible for us to access the e-learning through the Notes Master platform. Thank you. That is uh, the receipt of the buy fund by the permanent secretary from North Master. Just to indicate that the, 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 the receipt of the my funds, there are 30 in total that have been given for this launch and this advent. Thank you so very much. We may take our seats. Even as we Yes, sir, well, now, now we can listen to the remarks by uh, the CEO from uh, Nordmaster, and uh, this is a virtual uh, uh, remark or speech that he is giving. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I hope you can hear me okay from where I am. Um, from my side, Permanent Secretary, Education Services, Director Dode, Madam Bosa, P.O. Lusaka, Principal Benston from Zakot, Liquid Partners, Headmaster, Deputy Headmaster, dignitaries and friends, teachers, caterers, um, joining in person and virtually. Um, good morning. Good morning to everyone. I think it is wonderful to have heard such nice remarks and readings from the to come online. He's waiting. So it's just the connectivity that is uh, okay. being okay. sourced so that he is able to, to speak to us. This okay. is the beauty of what uh, the internet can do. We are able to speak to one another and hold launches and hold at bellings uh, from, with people that are actually uh, out of uh, this continent. He is speaking to us from UK, and therefore it is a matter of uh, connectivity so that we go ahead with the... Uh, okay, I, my mic is unmuted. Can you hear me? With his remarks. Can you hear me? We are ready. Okay. Are you able to hear me? How is the sound? Okay, to, to those of our colleagues that are still joining us yes. from uh, the other centers in the other regions, we have gotten to a moment where the peers have just uh, received the microphones that are going to be used even in the delivery of these vessels, these vessels that would engage us learning via this new hybrid platform of uh, North Master. Because of that, uh, you and uh, North Master are facilitating this engagement and this connectivity so that we can continue accessing this material that has been provided and is being provided via the Ministry of Education. Hello. Can you hear me okay? 
uh, whether that would work. It might. Putting a microphone by a micro by a speaker might work. Might be a bit of in, in improvisation. Does that? Okay. I I will we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Um, so, hello, Permanent Secretary, Education Services, Director Dode, Madam Botha, P.O. Lusaka, uh, Principal Zako, Mr. Benston, Liquid Partners, Headmaster, Deputy Headmaster, Kamwala, other dignitaries, P.E.O.s from the regions, guests and friends, teachers, caterers, everybody joining virtually and, and in person, good morning. Uh, and thank you. I think I have the one of the easiest tasks here today to simply say thanks to what is essentially um, a lovely moment in this in this time. I think from uh, ooh, way back in 2015, uh, when Notesmaster first, as as Madam Director highlighted, working with the Commonwealth of Learning to bring about a positive sort of impact for e-learning in Zambia. Um, I want to uh, use my remarks really to, to pay tribute to the writers, uh, the management within DODE uh, and the Ministry of Education for bringing a program like this to, to fruition. Uh, the Commonwealth of Learning had started with seven countries to develop content for respective online programs using the Aptus. Uh, not all of them succeeded. Some of them had challenges with the creation stage. Others had challenges with the implementation stage. So I think when I highlighted to Madame Ferreira at the Commonwealth of Learning and uh, Tony, her successor, the education specialist, Tony, um, I was quick to point out that this is really built on the motivation of the ministry. Uh, the Ministry of Education in Zambia has been instrumental within all of the COVID programs um, and these APTIS programs in making the content available. And I'd say that in the sense that the APTIS program was meant to be uh, sort of an offline access for participants in rural areas. But the COVID-19 pandemic brought challenges because the device is a proximity device. So you need to be near someone to use it. And of course, with COVID, we found that nobody wanted to be near anybody for fear of contagion. So it meant at first thought, the content created for the Aptus program was in some cases a bit of a waste of time. It was a little bit obsolete um, because the device was not fit for purpose in the current climate with so many persons sadly passing away from COVID. But what did happen was that the content proved more useful than could have ever imagined because it allowed, when schools closed, participants to go online. And I really do want to um, heap as much praise as I can on persons within DODE, the teachers, uh, the PESOs, the PEOs, who embraced this opportunity utilized the content and supported notes master and the commonwealth of learning in conducting a huge number of workshops training many teachers um, and repeating so it's not just a matter of showcasing it one day but going back and going back so the message is well understood uh, it was quite inspirational to see that um, i personally as an individual i was born in the caribbean uh, where there are certain many challenges with education there. Um, I, I was amazed to see how, from my experience when we went into Machinga province, how we were embraced by the PEO and the PESO um, to really make a difference there. And it translated into improvement in outcomes. And it was nice to see that this was something that when everybody thought, oh, COVID has closed this and the content and the you know, it's, it's a bit of a waste. It proved to be a tremendous success. So from, from my standpoint, I wanted to say I was very impressed by that. I think I wanted to also highlight that these programs are not easy. We don't just wake up one day and there's a thousand lessons for JS and a thousand lessons for senior secondary. Um, a lot of work, 
a lot of writing goes on in the background from teachers who maybe don't quite get it right and then they have to revisit and then they update it. It is a real passion and a real element of dedication that goes into creating something that a learner can come to this day and age, look at and, and feel inspired by. No longer can we just give them text and an image. We need to give them something inspirational. So when they are online, they are competing with YouTube and TikTok and uh, Facebook. They see their learning as something exciting, something passionate that, uh, that comes across to them. So from my side, I'd just close my brief history by thanking the Permanent Secretary, Mr. Kamaloko, for taking the time to come to us here today. I think your presence uh, shows a great endorsement for a program like this. Um, and we hope that we can live up to that endorsement over the coming weeks and months because we want to track the progress and present your office with regular statistics on how we are, little by little, making a transformation so that we can follow the director both as comments of leaving no child or no one behind. Um, and to Madame Botha, I also thank you for your guidance and under your expertise, we will operate and hopefully um, bring the regions together in terms of everybody on board at the same time over the course of this, this program and just change lives little by little by making the technology more accessible. So from my side, thank you very much. It was wonderful to see the children hand over and wonderful to um, be a part of this sort of ceremony with you virtually. I'd close by thanking the headmaster for Kamwala and the school community at Kamwala for allowing us to come there today and to thank the caterers. I think they've made a, a nice little cake for today. So I hope everyone does just manage to get a little piece of cake. So thank you all very much and uh, thank you for having me with you virtually today. That was uh, the CEO for North Master giving his remarks. Allow me at this moment, therefore, to invite the director, Dode, Dr. Beatrice Porter, to invite the peers to speak to us, director. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have the honor to invite our, our permanent secretary of education services, Mr. Joe Kamoko, to talk to us. Yes, sir. I'm debating which protocols to follow, director. At least I leave out that the people are important, but allow me to start by recognizing the director of events and recognize all staff from ministry headquarters and all our provincial officers wherever they are with special recognition of Lusaka who is here physically, equally our district board secretaries wherever you are with special mention of the desk always representing Lusaka Tates and obviously I do take cognizance of the representative from North Master and the one who has just recently spoken to us. I do take cognizance of the representative of Liquid Telecoms. He seems to be very comfortable with his products. And obviously I do have several senior government officials here in present. Allow me to recognize the teachers. Let me recognize the very reason why we're here, the learners. Allow me to indulge and say, ladies and gentlemen, I will speak conscious that I'm representing none other than Douglas Monsaga Siagalima, MD for Chirundu, constituency and minister of the Ministry of Education. And I will attempt not to get carried away so that I speak to you as Douglas Siagalima Monsaga. Then I will speak a little as Joe Kamoko. These are these things that are in the invitation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the message from my minister is as follows. May I take this opportunity to convey my gratitude to you all for taking time out and indeed leaving your many other commitments that today we may unveil the Northmaster Hybrid 
e learning platform. I am honored and excited to have the rare privilege to officiate at this event. And indeed, the minister says he is truly grateful. Allow me then to state that the government of the Republic of Zambia has continued to insist no one behind. And in so doing, in the development agenda of this country, the ministry is equal to the task. I think that we are ensuring that indeed everyone accesses quality education. Arguably, ladies and gentlemen, if you allow me again to take you to the recent past, the country hosted the first time ever the innovative Africa Summit. It was an opportunity to learn what others are doing in terms of technology in education. And for those who attended, if you paid attention to those discussions, you will agree with me that the world is seriously moving towards technology in education massively. Lessons learned from Ghana, for example, Yes. Yes. The establishment of Zambia Information Communication Technology Authority is an avenue through which government shows its commitment. The Ministry of Education rides on these two important institutions to ensure schools are connected. It's a long journey, but we've started, and we're on the right path. Emphasis, the right path. I'm proud to state that the Ministry of Education is making strides towards achieving sustainable development goal number four. Education is access to various ways of delivery, including the alternative mode of education, as ably explained by our able doctor in charge of Dodi. The intervention we are advancing today aims at ensuring that people are able to learn according to their choices, wherever they want to learn, anywhere, anytime. The ministry is striving to change the face of education by providing policies which support building 
resilient systems that can provide equitable quality education for all, which resonates with the eighth national development. Today, to which launch in 2019. However, due to connectivity challenges and other factors, the pilot program of 2019 is today being rolled out with modification or, as earlier said, being relaunched. Today, partners have come on board to ensure that many of our learners and teachers can access materials on the platform at no cost of connectivity. This collaboration is well appreciated. And indeed, we would like to encourage the players to participate. Ministry of Education is the main day of the country. And so we will not experiment and abandon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm aware that the program we are building today will go a long way to yield the desired outcomes as it will enhance quality of education for our learners. The Minister, in conclusion, with states and I quote, I wish to thank Northern Master Limited and Liquid Telecommunication for the noble gesture and collaboration created on this important program. Education remains a catalyst and a tool in our hands to trigger sustainability development. He says with his words, he wishes you all a blessed day and I now take his shoes and officially to agree on his behalf to unveil the not master hybrid learning platform. I thank you all for listening. <laughs> that was the Minister of Education. Allow me to say, having listened to all speeches, there was one call that was very clear for to all of us. We can no longer give the excuse of chalk and talk as a mode of learning because it's not interesting. The younger generation are into smartphones. Even as I speak, they are very bored already because they are prepared to probably watch an audio or hear a, see a video or see some activity because theirs is an energetic time. They are restless because they are adolescent. So the challenge on the mothers, the fathers, the teachers, and the ministry is to realize we were once this year. And let's not continue giving excuses for teaching the old way. It is not interesting. So here's a platform. I demand that we all use it well. I will accept no excuse, Director Dodge, CEO of Saga. Yes, Lusaka. For the children in Lusaka and the children in Zambia, not to enjoy learning because of the excuse of space, the excuse of numbers. This platform defeats our excuse and laughing at each other when we have an opportunity to teach our children in a manner they can learn and enjoy learning. I invite you, the teachers, to be digital friendly and change your pedagogy mode from talk and talk to digital. Whether in your preparation of lessons, in your own preparing of assessments, go digital. We all want to see what you're doing. What you do via paperwork, we can't see. So for me, I did not come here to the excitement of just assuring the partners 
I get to remind the educators that you've worked hard this far, now comes the time to adapt and move away from traditions we're familiar with and dive into a new area. Yes, an opportunity to work differently. And I'm grateful that I'm part of this transformation. And wherever my president is, he must be very excited because he wants to see a transformed education system. No wonder he's calling for curriculum review, curriculum transformation, curriculum reform. It means these children, if tomorrow they want to do computers, they can learn but six subjects. They don't have to learn nine and twelve. And the materials are all available. They will learn at their own pace. I don't have to wait for seven years to write an exam. If I am able to write an exam in four years, why don't you allow me to write an exam? So these platforms give us alternative to learn differently. And move away from believing that only when you wear a uniform and you are before a teacher, then you are learned. Mm -mm, it's a lie. Sometimes nothing might change. Okay, wait, see now. Who goes in? Try. Comes out, wait. Continue seeing it. Learning must transform a life. I must be adaptable and fit into my society. And I must be excited to learn. Like Mrs. Ibulega excited me in 1971. From a village didn't you know to a village who could read and write. And I became a villager with a difference. It's not nice, you know, to be told you're post number one. Number one. And you go back home, others are post number 11, number 21. You number one. That's how powerful, interesting teaching changes a child. And this village today is privileged to be PS educational services. That's the power of a teacher. You change destiny. And so now that we have a factor that will help us influence destiny, let's ensure we learn, learn it well, and allow our children to experience exciting learning. Our classrooms should begin to be places where we facilitate learning. We don't pour knowledge, they are not buckets. We don't need to say we have no textbooks because we have access to the platform. I will not accept that the children will fail and you want your pay. The two must relate. You get your pay, the children must enjoy learning. And they must not also believe that unless they get a distinction, then they are not good enough. No wonder we have too many people attempting illegality and malpractice. Don't learn under pressure, learn for the good of learning. Learning in itself is good, and whatever level you are certified, it's still good evidence that you learn. It's not about a false distinction. So this platform is giving us an opportunity to interact, to interface, to reach to the children. No more excuse of textbooks. And remember we are saying online and offline, you can still learn. And for me, I've been given a Christmas gift. But I was looking for answers. I went to India and saw wonders. I went to Ghana, I was shocked. When I came back, I asked myself, am I a piece of education or empty classroom? When I look at my teachers, I wonder if these people at me, what are we being paid for? To help our children to be restless, take drugs, Get pregnant, run away from school. Now I think my teachers and I have a weapon we can use to facilitate exciting, innovative, creative learning. And we hope you, the learners, represent the rest of the other learners. We will use those smartphones for intended purposes. Because you are our generation equal. <laughs> You are very talented. The reason you go on those smartphones, I will not evaluate because you know what I mean. But I want to persuade you to use them as your search engine, as your gateway to the teacher who is not there. You need not fail because there isn't a teacher. When the teacher has taught you how to go around the platform, you must be able to learn. Let the teacher only aid you, facilitate, make it easy for you to learn. The burden to learn is upon you, the learner. No teacher will learn on your behalf. And no teacher is paid to learn on your behalf. Teachers are paid to make sense, to 
to help you learn, enjoy learning. And that learning. A good representative. As I close, I swear to you, this is treat so bad. Seriously. I invite you back to professional way. I demand that every school in Zambia is productive. If we do not find your school productive, we shall look for tentative managers. I'm not threatening. We are obliged to teach our children to live productive lives. Can we make our schools productive centers? Can we make our colleges productive centers? Can we make our universities productive centers? I call upon whoever says they are an educator to realize you owe it to the public to be productive. If we were giving each other time to know each other, 2022 ends on 21st December. Please take this as friendly warning. For my teachers, here is a platform. Prepare to work. Assess the children. I want to see their record. Let these children enjoy remedial work. Let these children walk into an exam room with a smile. And when you're examining them, start with a prayer. Don't scare them. I'm sure the rest, when they have the platform, They've enjoyed learning. When they feel ready, they will write exams. And as we reform the education system, as demanded by the president, I pray that you who are here, those who are listening countrywide, who participate in the education reform discussion and contribute to a document that will speak to all of us, which will result in a career speaks to Zambia's needs and desire for economic for the parents, I want to thank you for having brought us this far, given us the opportunity and the new dawn to save you. We ask you to prepare for the grenades as the minister will announce once the selection is done. We want our children supported. All we ask of you, play your part. We will pay the fees like we paid grade 9. We've also paid for grade 12. So there's no excuse that the children must not learn. We do not want the youths in the street. If the schools have no desks, they will be met. If the schools have no books, here is a platform. Those that have to be bought, they will be bought. But also as our children learn and close during exam times, and then they come home, let them not come home to where absent parents. Let's take care of our children. Teachers can only play but a part. The rest is up to the parents. And to our young learners, wherever you are, if you're going to watch me, I persuade you, value your days when you are young. Because what you do wrong now will haunt you when you are old. And to the audience, thank you for giving me the privilege and honor to speak on behalf of the minister and to have served you for one year, 15 days today. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Guest of honor, your marching orders are loud and clear. The word of command has been given. 2023 is a year of production. And production is in all areas production for physical things and production in the academia with a platform like e learning that is being unveiled today. But much ado, guest of honor, may I? Trouble you to make you get to the point where you do the advent, and we'll be doing it from outside, standing, and after the pierce.
Finally, we are at the point where the, the permanent secretary now does the actual unveiling after all the speeches, when all is said and done, with the marching orders having been given, with the direction and the focus for 2023. The rest has been history. We have lessons that we have learned in the past and that are giving us enough impetus for us to trigger and move forward in the year 2023. Just of honor, we allow you now to proceed and unveil the not, not master e-learning hybrid platform for the year 2023 with the vigor and power, with the new knowledge that is coming through with the help of Liquid Telecom, and also not must uh, limited. Yes, of Okay. Not master, we are being invited together with Liquid to join the guests of honor so that the partnership is cemented even more and sustainability is also are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> so we'll allow you to do the the honors of the cake. There's an unveiling. Okay, so you complete the unveiling. You push that. Okay. And the actual record which you <laughs> I don't want to catch this. Can I stand beside this? I'm uh, too jealous to catch this. Okay, are we done? Yes. All right. Okay, come, ladies. Someone. The honors to join. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. It is deliberate guest of honor because the one who will be doing the demo of a lesson is the person you are cutting the cake with. Yeah. <laughs> she is actually doing the demo of a lesson in civics. With that having been done, ladies and gentlemen, we can get to back to seat and uh, witness a lesson demonstration for, for the same uh, e learning platform. Let us quickly come through, we take our seats, we are getting to the climax of 
forward failing. The five months of forward failing. So the level you may take your position in your classroom. Your level you may take your position in your classroom. Because now we are getting to the demonstration of how this platform operates and how it works. So get ready with your gadgets. Our members that are joining us from the other centers in the other regions and many other regions where you are actually also witnessing the query of the Northmaster Learning Hybrid Platform. We want to actually give a round of applause to our permanent sector yet again for having made us to join him in making history. That is our hearts together. We are part of the history that has been made that uh, this protective platform has also been relaunched for us to get into the new year 2023, given as the PS says, this is a new year and Christmas present for him. And I think it is a present to all of us. That will be beneficiaries and also users of this platform. At this moment, yes, of honor. Allow me to take you to the teacher that will be getting into the exploration. So what will happen, guest of honor, is that uh, we will have a technical person who will just run us through the orientation of how the platform can be accessed so that we are speaking of something that we are also knowledgeable of and uh, he will just explain how to access the platform and after he has uh, made known the platform to us and where we can find it in our expensive gadgets then we will move into a short but very interesting lesson demonstration. With me here is Mr. Thakden. I think you're in doubt with me. Are you able to, 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 to read through the, the, the screen there or we need to move you closer? Okay. <laughs> So that the PS is able to read. So I think from where the PS at the high table is, uh, we'll just need to move maybe this table and these are here. Maybe you can join these other tables in the side so that we can have direct access to the to the to the screen up there. Okay. Allow me now, guess of honor to allow the technical person to actually navigate us through how to access this platform. Yes, me I'll uh, take you through the summary of the platform and later on my colleagues who have an active lesson face to face while our successful students of online that will be able to be transferred those who are faster with mobile phone or so so you can call us you can be part of the stream so before that, I need us to give this summary. The first thing, before you reach the site, you need to search. I know you are far away, but I will draw and you can see 
You need to search the word nodes, master. Nodes as plural and master combined as one word. Nodes master dot com. It will lead you to uh, it will lead you to this site. Then before I go inside, during the system, it was discovered that she as a trainers and the learners, we had a challenge of password. So we decided to remove password for every child for the library to make things easy. Then the second thing. We also noticed that uh, sometimes children, they may abuse what they are doing. So it's a try, it has got a free partnership of the parent. There's a part, there's a part for the parent and the school and the students. So when the lesson is going on, the parent can track the child. You can even put the register and give the register to the parents needed. You can also, so from there, I'll first show you how to go in the library without logging in. After you click Notes Monster, you go to Browse DTG Library, you click just near logging in. Then you have here, how to enter the library on region. On region, you have to select on region, go on to Zambia, immediately go to search. We allow it to open. Okay, thank you. In this search, there is curriculum for vocational institution. Then there is curriculum for primary, curriculum they survive for junior secondary and 10 to 12. All the survive are uploaded. The good news is there are two types of content. There is gamification. All the materials have been compiled from grade 1 to 12 as efficient questions. And these efficient questions are picked only for demonstration say in integrated science primary. So I'll pick grade one. In grade one, I'll pick a topic plants. So what you are seeing in grade one, this is a summary of all the topics in integrated science in grade one. Then from the, that part, I'll pick plants and animals. The outcomes. If you want to compare any syllabus, check the outcomes they are to have. So, what not must have done, in each outcome, there are 10 questions for revision from grade 1 to 12. So, for those who are doing revision, preparing for exams, if you go through the whole outcomes, you will never go wrong with the ECZ. You will feel until ECZ for starting questions from here and to in the exam. If you want to go home, you check the past papers, you see that there's no question which misses in this platform. What misses only is question for English at meaning lesson. Then how we identify local plants to go on. This part is an interactive part. So here there are 10 questions under this outcome. If you have got a class face to face, you can use it in the classroom to engage the learners 
enhance the teaching aspect, especially for topics which are hard to understand. Those who cannot attend the classroom, they can learn wherever you are, whether in the past, you start doing this. So, for example, Christine is the student, you can put your name here. If it's not Christine, you type your name. So, once you type your name, you start the activity. This is the application for the grade one class. Hence, you are a bit far, and this can be done. It records as how that it will be scrolling me. Then the central post tells it, and in the way it's one part. The donor headquarters will be able to monitor everyone they want to monitor in the country. So, donor can even conduct the centralized tracking uh, competition across the country. Even if you just state, then the director can come and check at any time he's free. Then you can print a schedule. It will give you the statistics how it works. So, you will help me to answer, I'll be doing the big part so that you see how it tracks. I'll just go on without wasting time. So this is, this, they are in prime plants in the local environment. So you can see that it can be interesting to children. So I'm remaining with the three of them. Just a moment. So you see how you can track everyone. Then this, you don't need higher knowledge to do this. It's a phone. That's all. You don't need a computer. Then when you see at the end. It will give the and it will see the position you have done. So, if you are the top of the school, so you are high So, if you are picking the whole country, the base project will be on top. So, if the, all of you get everything correctly, time will work no matter which you complete. So, there are many more we can be going to check on. There are assignments you can create the students' assignments. Due to time, I think this is one of the activities the platform can do. Thank you so much. Quickly, I will invite our two teachers that are just going to explain how the interactiveness of this platform is with the learners that are virtually joining us and those that are physically here. Our two teachers. Thank you so much. Uh, our learners, with those teachers and parents who have got phones, you can equally phone to make your phone and you can get the phone to So from the material that you have prepared, I have posted chemistry demo as a class. If you are a guardian and you are buying class, what we are just demonstrating, and the learners, you can do it. You go to a class called chemistry demo, grade 10. You will find there are 15 quiz questions. And when you do that, you will be graded immediately and be able to see what you have done. There are a lot of materials, but for this we are only put the team. My colleague also has done something. In my case, it's not a specific education. So you go to uh, follow the same procedure. You go to uh not master the under the subject, you click where it's civic education. Equally this uh, task that has been put there. Uh, in, in our case, we have a great change in education. So, uh, parents can also try. As they are doing uh, science, you can also try to click on the civic education. We, we have been teaching throughout uh, the COVID period, but there were some other restrictions were there. But now, in those times, we saw parents who are joining the classes. Even now, parents can join so that you see that what they are doing is what is happening. Right? Even the teacher 
you can be able to know if the teacher is doing a correct thing. Previously in the COVID, we are using uh, Zoom, but this one you can just go direct without using Zoom. So those who can manage, as long as you put your name, you'll be graded and you'll be able to see. It doesn't take over 20 seconds to answer the question. If you are too slow, you cut off course the next question. And at the end, you'll be graded. The good part of it is that you can still go back to what they wrong until you master them. So there are different questions that are prepared. Uh, each question, uh, they are it's timed. So uh, the key question is coming from the the main of the, so, uh, the outcome. So uh, the are So you have to answer all the ten questions within a given uh, time. If you don't have enough time, you can still just try it. There are always things. Go to Google, type notes, master, and choose a class. The way you can be able to go. You can even do it as a bike to challenge your child.